Hello and welcome back to the Banner Saga, where we are engaged in a fight that I'm pretty confident we can win. Unless that guy has bugged out really badly to the point where it's going to stop us finishing the mission. Which I'm not sure of. Ah, good block. It's really there's not a proper sort of block animation, but... Deal with what you have. Admittedly, I can't tell how many of them there actually are. Kill him. Okay, break his armor. Because it's a pity the only person who actually seems to get any XP, effectively, is the person who gets the kill, because there are some of these units that I would like to spec to be... who I would like to spec specifically for the purpose of doing things like stripping shields without ever getting the kill. Because that's very useful, but that would make them extremely difficult to level up if getting the kill is the only thing that matters from a level up point of view. Okay, so he's the only one considered standing and that guy's just bugged out. Fine. in better. Kills. Managed not to uh, lose too many people. What in the depths of these, you wonder, looking at the unusual dread slingers? Nobody knows. And without warning, a deranged and half dead slag stumbles out of the brush, throwing itself upon the yoks and attached to the treasure cart. Surprise, vile, poor weapons, but not before the whole cart slides off the slick road and a sheer drop stopped by a sudden low growl. The enormous metal wagon dangles precariously off a cliff. From the end swings a confused yox, still tied to its reins. On top, the dredge hangs on tight, keeping the whole thing from plummeting over the side, is Gunulf. One hand white knuckled to the cart, the other wrapped around a tree trunk. Okay, well, let's try and haul that cart back up. You grab the cart and pull. You barely make any ground when the trees holding onto tears from the ground, dragging you with terrifying force towards the end. Let it go. With a roar that sounds like you just stabbed him on the side and gave rather than give him the order, Gnolf lets go of the cart. Flips over the side in a flash, followed much later by a dull thud and a crack. At the base of the steep cliff, hundreds of yards below, the treasure cart has exploded into a frozen firework of gold, valuables, yoks, dread and gore. That was a costly mistake, grits Ubin between clenched teeth. You wonder what, why the dredge went after the ox in the first place. Then you realise the bigger problem is the vast fortune now lying at the bottom of a cliff. Hmm. Let's see what. Let's try and recover what we can quickly. You gather ideas for hoisting the loot, all of them difficult and time-consuming. Eventually, you settle on lowering a man by rope into the valley. He grabs a few valuables, covers up the rest, but not much else. You face the fact that you've got nowhere to put them, and nothing to pull them with, even if you did recover them. A day later, you're back on the march without much to show for it. Well, that could have been better. 
Right, to camp for the time being. Because I want to level up my heroes. Because camping after every battle seems logical to me. So let's promote you. And you are doing quite nicely. More shield. You are also doing very nicely. Yes. It's your... Sorry, hitchy here. Right, so your ability has been improved, which is good. I also need to improve your strength and your shield breaking abilities. You should be promoted as well. Time renown, and again, lots of strength. You could do with a promotion. And you could do with more strength. You are getting clobbered in every fight you're in, but that's okay. Yes. And you need more shield. And I can promote you again, because you've got a lot of kills in that last fight. More shield. More strength. Okay. That went pretty well overall, only one guy injured. But let's rest up for a day regardless. And let's head on. Was this stone, whatever it is. Caravan stops, God's stone looming overhead for a short rest. The warriors are glad for it. The stone gives you an ancient sense of being watched over, in a comforting way. Didn't help the bodies underneath it though. The earth at the base of the God's stone is scarred like a struggle occurred. Merchants, no dredge. Encircling Dengar, over a variety of goods. A barrel of mead, who knows how old. Loose silver, a sachi made of soapstone. Offerings to a dead god. Leave the offerings, but check for the merchant's brother. In the midst of a pile of bodies, a glitter catches your eye. You fish a gold necklace out from a jerkin to find five gold rings thrown it. The merchant's brother. Guess he didn't make it. You take the necklace with the intent to return it. You toss the necklace to Mogar, tell him to hang on to it. If anyone can be trusted, it's him. You don't know what made them think that God's stone to be safe, Mogar grants. We've completely exposed up here. If we're going to rest, I think we ought to do it a little further away. Let's examine the godstone. Dengler was always one of the favourites amongst men. God of good fortune. They believed you brought luck, wealth, or whatever else you wish you had, but couldn't get on your own. The word fortune has a lot of meanings. Eventually you move on. So that's the second godstone found. So I'm assuming the two groups are going to meet up at some point. So it would be an odd narrative choice to have us following two groups and never have them encounter each other. In the distance, you see smoke rising from the trees. Dredge are known for setting fires, says Mogar. But it does get their attention. We use little fires like that to lead them along in the Great Wars. Yeah, but they're wised up to that after a while, interjects another warrior. Or it could be someone trying to get their attention, I'm fast old. The other group from Shield was sent this way. No matter how you look at it, investigating it will cost time. Now, let's send some guys to take a look. Mogar, send a few warriors to take a look, you say. They disappear over the hill, and you keep a spe steady pace while you wait for them to return. They don't reappear, well past the time it should have taken. Okay, we go ourselves, and get ready for a fight. You take Magar and a dozen warriors with you. You shuffle past dozens of dead slag and fra before the clearing opens up. Hundreds of vials sit near the fire, including those you sent to investigate. One puffs on a pipe. 
Harker and Igrichu. Your warriors said you wouldn't leave them. He explains that they had come from S.H.I.E.L.D. and were surrounded, then lit a fire when they spotted you. Sorry you had to miss the fight. He grins as his warriors join your caravan. Cool. So we're running lowish on supplies, but we've got a lot of Varal warriors with us. <laughs> Mogar comes to you privately. I've seen some of the warriors disappearing, he says. First I thought it was my imagination, but now I'm certain several have gone missing. Mostly men, but some for all too. Can't quite figure it. If it's abandonment, you can't let it stand. Okay, yeah, watch them, follow anyone else. He agrees, but worries about leaving the caravan unattended. You assure him he'll be fine, and by the next day you haven't learned any more, and you have to push on. Your warriors demand a break. You halt the caravan with a sigh, but in all honesty, you're starting to feel the altitude and weariness yourself. Magar leans on a fallen tree, fiddling with a crust of bread. It's getting colder, he says, staring into the distance. You can see Ridgehorn just start to peek around the mountains. A flock of ravens float across the clear sky toward the fort. We should follow those birds. What's the plan, isn't it? Without another word, Magar starts running towards the birds and tumbles over the cliff. Suddenly he's gliding through the air, flapping his arms for all they're worth. He swoops towards Ridgehorn before bursting into flames and plummeting into the tower, which crumbles like a log from a smouldering campfire. I'm assuming we just had a trippy dream. You think you've lost your mind, and then you wake up. You don't remember setting up camp or falling asleep in front of crackling hogs. Oh, what is going on? You mutter. Magar approaches you at the campfire. Arkin, did you see? He starts. Yeah. You both agree to keep it to yourself. How is everybody? Okay, we're doing pretty good. Nobody wounded. Supply situation not great, but I think we need to rest for a couple of days and get morale back up. Now let's head on. sure you've seen them, Agar says, but we're being followed. Dredge have been on our asses since we left the Godstone, lots of them. I'm sure there's plenty in front of us too, but we're just half a day out from thick woods, we might lose them there. Mm, nope, I'd rather take them down. Okay, already the worries. Careful, Hark. This isn't the time to start taking risks. There's 858 of them. Okay then. Nervous glances among the enemy ranks. Let's take it to them then. Let's go. We are we ready? <sighs> oh, once again, we've managed to get ourselves surrounded somehow. And I can't actually change this formation at all. Because, uh, yeah, that's kind of annoying. Okay, let's get him. Actually, no, let's get him over there to intercept this guy. Get her over there. Throw out special ability. Damage on that guy. Burns, okay. Get a sundering impact on that guy and hit him with double strength. Now I know these guys hit like absolute trains. Get Q over there. And your turn. Come forward. Yep. Oof! That hill is a pretty nasty hit. Okay, he's still getting hit by the burning coals. Okay, hit him with a battering ram. Hit him onto the coals. Okay, 
Okay, you're gonna have to strip this guy's armor before we can do any real damage to him. Ooh, bloody hell! That was a hell of a lot of damage. Okay, slag and burn again. Hit them both for some damage. Oof. These things hit like absolute trains. Oh dear. They obviously stop. They've obviously noticed how much damage she's doing. Hit him with a willpower strike. Yeah, I think it's a 20% chance to actually hit, not 20% chance, chance to block. Okay, battering around that guy. Okay, that guy's gone defensive and turtled up. Bit of damage. Aha, uh -huh. burning coal is doing their jobs. Again, hit that area. Oh dear, down she goes. Knew that would happen sooner or later. Right. Kill that guy. Good block. Damn it. How much damage can you do to him? Not enough. You can't hit him with a battering ram off the back. Which will blast him over the coals. Well, let's do some damage to those guys. And they're falling back and turtling up. Interesting. Okay. Get a sundering impact and hit him for double. Good kill. Get close enough on his next turn, Harkin can take that guy out. Ooh, good kill. Aha, and that guy went down. Okay, I'm confident pulling back at this point. So we lost a fighter in some crawl. I went okay. Could have gone a bit better, but it uh, went okay. Let's camp up. See if anybody needs a promotion. Yes, you can have a promotion. Good. 15 renown. Okay, and two points available. More willpower, maybe? So I can't uh, spend it there. Let's boost her willpower. Okay, I can't afford that. So, cancel that. Can't, how do I get rid of that? Okay. Okay, those are the only ones who needed promoting and I can't promote all of them so let's rest and let's continue because our supply situation is less than brilliant I'm 
I'm assuming when we run out of supplies we'll start losing uh, people. Deep inside the woods you get the distinct sense that the dredge have more or less surrounded you and in great numbers. The dark shapes create unsettling patterns as they slide between trees in every direction. At least it's not as bad as it could have been if you hadn't taken out a good portion of them already, you think to yourself. Ukul we'll Mogar around. Any ideas, Mogar? Yeah, pray to whatever god you like. There's more of them waiting on the other side of these woods than we've seen so far. We may be seriously outnumbered, especially if we wait. Yes, sir, appears unexpectedly. What if, she says, patting her arrows knowingly, you could set part of the woods on fire to draw their attention, while you escape or draw them into a trap? Is this your idea? I'm asking. She shrugs innocently. Yeah, to draw them in and set them on fire. You create a line of shield bangers and unleash volleys of arrows in their direction, luring frustrating swaths of them the trees. With your command, Yosa flings flaming arrows to key locations, and the trees erupt and fire spreads quickly. Many fall immediately, but the Varals start to lose their nerve. Soon the caravan is in disarray, some fighting, others fleeing past the growing inferno, and Yosa has vanished. Luton rushes past in a state of terror, breaking the trees, hoping to regroup. Wow, you people can't cope with a small fire? Where is Yersa? Behind you, the Feral are following your lead, but not as many as you'd hoped. The dredge distracted by the fire, but thankfully not yet noticed her escape. Isn't she with you? Don't... Did you make her do it? Where is she? I didn't make her do anything, it was her idea. Luton stares into the flames, face blank. He's trying hard not to show what this means to him. A miserable moment lingers. We've got to get out of here, Harkon. We bored minutes at most. We don't know that she's gone away. Anyway, she can catch up to us. Mogar gathers the others. Someone drags Luton along against his will. But you hear no outburst or insults. It's almost worse that way. Great, so we've lost the uh, woman I was putting a lot of effort into leveling up because she was useful. Why are they so twitchy about fire? Okay, we're getting near the end of the act, do we think? Given that the screen stopped sidling. There we go. Uh, so we made it to a place. making our way in very very slowly I say this is quite thematic but it's a little dull to watch I've got to be honest Come on. <sighs> I'd say very thematic, not very interesting. Take the opportunity to scratch my ear. Starting to wonder if I should go and, you know, start making myself lunch or something. I mean, I appreciate it, it's only about 9 o'clock in the morning, but hey. <laughs> Probably got time to create something really interesting. Finally. What's this mess about? Looks like a full scale battle happened, and recently. But only dredge bodies remain. Maybe we'll see something from the tower. Have Varel search the buildings, make sure there's no dredge waiting to spring on us. On it. And don't set up camp or make a fire. We'll take a look and then get out of here before anything else goes wrong. You mean more wrong? I do not like that guy, he's a prat. Okay, let's look at the heroes. Yep, and she has vanished, which is annoying because she's useful. Alright, 
let's investigate the tower. Okay, we've got a I'm not using Luden because I don't like him. He's not very good. Loading, loading, loading. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and there's some dude too. Oh, of course there are. Okay, you get to there. Fine. Okay then, so you can't do much because you're there. Annoying. Okay. Get over there. And hit that guy with a double willpower sundering impact. Oh! That is a nasty ability. I can't get these guys past. He's got basically no willpower, so, oh, correction, he's got no, uh, whatever the thing that lets you use willpower is. Get him forward. Next turn. Taunt one adjacent unit causing them to attack you. Okay. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any decent range. Taunts need to have range on them, guys. Otherwise, they're not very useful. High powered sundering strike. Or high powered. Uh, the armor strike anyway. Get over there. Not do anything on this turn, but next turn you'll be in range to attack. Oh great. What was that? It didn't seem to do anything. Ah. Let me guess. Mines. No, 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 no. That way, then that way. Yeah. Yeah, getting these guys through here is going to be a bit of a pain, I suspect. Yep, no idea what they do. I am assuming there's some sort of mine, but uh, can't know for sure. Okay, so they explode after about a turn. Right. Now that I know. Done. Pete's sake, why do I even use you? You take damage at an in insane rate. Those guys just sort of run away whenever they get hit. Which is annoying because it means I'm going to have to bracket them properly. It's always tricky to do. This would be easier if I had my archer, of course. If I can 
get him close enough to use a Tempest, he'll be able to do some pretty decent damage. So. Start with that guy. Okay, he's really, really close to being dead. Really bomb happy these guys, aren't they? Kill that guy. You are officially very, very useful and powerful. Get over there. Open those bombs and kill that guy. Haha, the bombs killed one of their own guys. armor. Oh, for the love of the heat. And I'm overrunning again. Slingers are really annoying to fight because they just run away whenever you hit them. Right. Well, that got a bit messy. That to me is a pretty decent point to end this video because I've overrun again and say thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next part.